So I think that I'm supposed to be smelling the urine and the feces right now and potentially feeling little shocks of electricity in various extremities. I mean, I usually feel some sort of electric current on my genitals anyway, especially if I'm engaging with technology and or especially if somebody that I have uh, identified as being connected to something that operates under the Texas Comptroller Code is using some public comment I made as part of the financing in whatever deal they're working that they never acknowledged through me. As a matter of fact, today I found what was the aftermath of an effort to create a huge illegal and illicit transaction through the Department of Treasury that was then supposed to disappear without any evidence after September 3rd. And indeed, today, there's no evidence of it like there was before. Instead, something else is there. Last time I've tried to file with the Supreme Court of the United States, it was sort of skewed. As in, here's one line and here's one line. Maybe it's supposed to like be like a double helix. But the time before that, someone coded my Supreme Court case about war crimes in the United States that I had first tried to pursue as a criminal filing regarding a pattern of racketeering activity that was trafficking people through the Health and Human Services as part of a criminal drug enterprise. They coded it to Libya. And I kept having to play out these scenarios about refugees dying on rafts. And then there was the spy in the plane that had to give his audience before the king of Saudi Arabia. And then there was the missing parliamentarian that's part of the newest stage of the Libyan nuclear program that people just haven't followed up on. And then there was all of the nights where they were chastising me for allegations of Muammar Gaddafi uh, having these women put in special facilities where they were sexually tortured for a very long time as if somehow that was who I was and I was supposed to go through the simulation. And then I had to deal with the fact that my father never obtained a rank above the one he retired at because he never served embassy duty, which is one of the three things somebody has to do to get to the rank above the one he ended up retiring at. And I have followed how the fact that my father retired without serving embassy duty was leveraged, including most recently in regards to people involved with an actual embassy getting killed, right? And now today, after this morning, I'm commenting on other ongoing war crimes investigations and acknowledging that lawyers are playing dirty, filthy games with that law on war crimes from the same year, by the way, that they uh, signed me up for uh, long-term deals on tribal housing, that they're filing a case against Khalifa Haftar with the Virginia reference. Okay, let me ask! Do you want me to be the terrorist again? Because every time you ignore me and try to compel me to perform as a proxy for that whom I'm actually trying to get someone to prosecute, it gets worse and worse and worse. You really, literally... Launched a bio war. You launched a bioterrorist attack on this planet and are obscuring it as a health pandemic, and you want to entertain another, another war crimes allegation, another upsmanship in Libya. Today of all days. On September 3rd, which is the day that the other war crimes were disappeared! There's no evidence! But, if you get this in at the right time, there might be, what? Evidence to get some families civil suits? Are you trying to be Israeli? Are you trying to use the same strategy? that was used by those Israeli families against those terrorists 
You know the suiciders? What happened to Miss Sergewa? Where is the democratically elected parliamentarian that just so happened to get kidnapped at a very convenient time for the President of the United States, as well as the person who thought they were supposed to be the President of the United States? <laughs>